Hello, welcome to this video. It's Leonard here from DataLearner.com and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on three simple ways to buy crypto, to buy Bitcoin using the Binance P2P. So what I'll be showing you in this video are these three simple ways of buying crypto with the Binance P2P and that include the P2P itself, the Express and then the Block Trade and how you can be using them to your own advantage so if you are new to my channel and you love videos about making money online about crypto trade and investing then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel so with that being said let's jump right into it now before i go further i would like to explain here that p2p um, is the only way the easiest way or the simplest way we in nigeria can buy crypto is the simplest way we can convert our naira to cryptocurrency because um, initially binance allow you to buy bitcoin directly crypto any crypto you want to buy you buy directly using your atm card you can link up your atm card to binance and then you buy directly with the atm card or you can buy using bank transfer and then when you ever you want to withdraw to your bank you equally use binance and within minutes the crypto you want to withdraw are credited into your bank account but with the restriction from CBN, um, as at last year, restricting banks and financial institutes from dealing with exchanges like Binance, that was actually um, actually restricted. It was suspended, so you can no longer use your ATM. And the only way you can now buy crypto in Nigeria or other Af African countries and other countries around the world is via P2P. And the beautiful thing about the P2P um, trading is that you are doing this with no fee. The exchange doesn't collect any fee from you whether you are buying or selling via the p2p you don't pay any fee to the exchange so you are doing it at zero fee and right now with the binance p2p platform you have three different options to actually buy or sell crypto today and that is what i'll be showing you in this video so to go get started you need a binance account to be able to do this you need a binance account there are a lot of things you can do with binance actually so um that is the more reason why you need to follow us on this channel you learn a lot how to trade how to invest how to auto invest everything you need to do with binance we'll be discussing all of that in this channel so um like subscribe hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time content like this are published on this channel and um, once you sign off an account if you don't have an account uh, with Binance already link will be in the video description to sign off an account once you sign off an account you want to download the app I'm going to do this with the mobile app um, so that a lot of persons can have access to this because if I do most cases what I realize is that when I make a video with my um, desktop or with the web version of the exchange a lot of persons get confused on how to go about it on the web and 80 to 90 percent uses their mobile um, phone to actually access some of these platforms so that's why i'm doing this on the phone meaning that you can do it wherever you are you can do it in your office you can do it even on the go so basically that's what i'm showing you in this video now when you log into the app there are two ways you can access the p2p trading um, interface so the first one is on the home page here when you log into the app you see where it says p2p trading you can just click this and it takes you directly to the um, p2p trading interface or you can come in here to this other option down here down here where it says trade if i open that up you will now see where it says p2p at the top here so this is where you can equally click to access the p2p interface to demonstrate that i'll go ahead and click on that if i click here it brings me to the p2p interface and then if i go back and um, go to the home page and i click this it equally brings me to this interface now once we are on this interface what we want to do is make sure if you are not in nigeria make sure that the currency tab here is changed to your own local currency in this case it is ngn which represents my nigerian naira because i am in nigeria and i'm going to demonstrate this with the nigerian naira so all you need to do is go ahead and click here and then you can search for your own currency you can go ahead and scroll or use the search um, bar at the top here to search for your own currency and once you see your own local currency go ahead and select it then the price everything that will be displaying here will be displaying in your own local currency so once you do that the next thing is if i click on this p2p here if I click on this P2P here, this is where we have the three different trading options on the P2P interface. So if I go ahead and click that, 
you see here that we have um, P2P, we have Express, and then we have Block Trade. So to start with, I'm going to start with the Express, then I'll come back to the P2P, then the Block Trade will be the last option. So let me start with Express. So I'll go ahead and click on Express. And once you click on Express, it is very simple. On the Express here, you can buy USDT, you can buy BTC, you can buy BUSD. And if you want to sell as well, the same thing applies. You can equally use the Express method to sell. So whatever I'm demonstrating with the buy option, you can replicate that using the sell option. So it's the same thing um, that I'm going to walk you through, whether you want to sell or you want to buy. So that's the same thing. So, But I'll use the buy option to demonstrate this. And then whenever you want to sell, make sure that you go ahead and click on the sell tab. If I click on the sell tab here, the same thing interface you see, or put in the amount you want to sell, and then you are good to go. In this case, you need to have USDT or Bitcoin or BUSD, anyone you want to sell, just make sure that you have that balance in your account, and then you can go ahead and proceed in selling that. So with that being said, if I come back here to the buy option again, now on the buy option, all I need to do, I want to buy USDT, you can buy USDT, Bitcoin or, or BUSD. So I'll buy USDT, I can use USDT to buy any other coin whenever I'm ready. And here where it says amount above um, 1000, this is where I'm going to put uh, the amount I want to buy. So I'd like the name implies Express is the simplest way um, to buy crypto without giving yourself the headache of looking for a trader that will meet your requirements and so on. So what this express simply means is that Binance automatically matches you with the available, the next available trader with the best price in the market. So you don't really need to bother. If I want to buy 10,000, will I see a trader that will sell? If I want to buy 100,000, will I see a trader? So Express simply, was not, you put in your amount here, Express searches for the next available trader with the best price in the market and then matches you with that person, generate the person's account number for you, you go ahead and make payment and you are good to go. So all we need to do is to put in the amount we want to buy. Um, once we put in the amount we want to buy, we we'll go ahead and click on buy with zero fee. So if I go ahead and click on that, it automatically gives us a summary of what we should be expecting that, okay, we are going to buy 100,000 Naira worth of USDT and this 100,000 will be giving us a hundred and um, 71 USDT at this price at this price one USDT is equal to um, 584 Naira 70 Kobo so that's what we're buying one USDT for and uh, the payment method is going to be bank transfer so um, we're going to use bank transfer for this and then the next thing I need to do is go ahead and click on this confirm purchase so I can just go ahead and click on confirm purchase so right now they say the price is invalid, I should refresh, I'll go ahead and refresh so that it gives me the current price. Whenever you see a pop-up like that, make sure you refresh and don't waste time here, that is what that simply means. So I'll go ahead and click on buy again, they give us a summary, go ahead and click on confirm purchase and automatically Binance generate the next available trader that I'm going to make this payment to. So all I need to do is this yellow bar down here where it says to payment page, if I click on it, it takes us to the payment page. Here you will see the payment, the account details of the um, person we are paying to, the person's account name, account number, and then the person's bank. So this is the details we are going to get. All you just need to do is copy this account number, go to your app, make the transfer, and then once you finish making transfer, you come back here and click on transferred, notify seller. Make sure that you have transferred the funds and then have a screenshot um, on your phone before you come in here to click this. So once you click on transfer, once the seller, uh, because Binance automatically linked you with this person, it means that the person has this available USDT that you are going to buy to send to you. So once the seller confirms the payment, they will release your crypto. Binance automatically release your crypto to you. So you don't have to you know, be afraid because Binance is the one handling all of this. Um, nobody will scam you here. So once you do that, you go ahead and click on transfer. And another thing you can do before you make payment is that you can chat up the trader by clicking on this chat icon here. So if I go ahead and click on the chat icon, it brings us here. So you can go ahead and ask the trader if he or she is available. So I can just type in here, are you um, available for instance? And then go ahead and click on send. If the trader replies within, you know, because you have 15 minutes to make your payment, you always see the countdown here. 
you have 15 minutes to pay, make your payment. Once the trader replies on time, I'll go ahead and make the payment. If the trader doesn't reply on time, I'll just you know cancel the trade. Another thing you can do is you can click this phone icon here. As you can see, this icon at the top right hand side to call the person's phone number to actually confirm if the person is online or if the person is available to make this payment because before your time elapses you need to make this payment if not once this 15 minutes counts down everything will be cancelled so i'll go ahead and click on that phone icon and it brings up the person's phone number i can go ahead and just call the person directly and confirm from the person so you can see the person just confirmed now that they can go ahead so go ahead and make that payment once you make um, transfer the next thing is just to come in here and click on transfer notify the seller so um after that the seller confirms that and you receive your usdt that is what how simple and straightforward the express method is so you can use the express method to save yourself the headache of looking for seller so all right so that is method one the express method and then the next method we want to use is the p2p which i want to show you so if i come in here to the p2p and click on it once you come in here to the p2p interface there are a few things i want you to do the first thing to do is to click on this fifa icon here yeah, this funnel icon so go ahead and click on that if i click on that now once i click this this pops up so here we have the payment method so you can go ahead and select bank transfer um whatever payment method you want but because i'm in nigeria it is only bank transfer that will go through and then the control and region just leave it as all make sure that you leave it as all but the most important thing i want you to do is that you make sure that only show as from measured is toggled on by default it is off so make sure that this is toggled on make sure that you own that so that you only show him as from measures that are verified by binance so if i go ahead and do that and click on the this yes here it will go ahead and filter and to know that people you are going to be buying for a verified mission from binance you will see this yellow check mark beside their name so you see this yellow check mark beside their nickname meaning that all of these persons are verified missions from binance another thing to take note here is this is the price you are buying at and then you will see that the limit is what you want to be looking at. This person is ready to sell from 2 million to um, 2.1 million to 2.150 million. Meaning that if I want to buy 100,000, 500,000, I can't buy from this first trader. So make sure that you are always looking at the limit. And this person is ready to sell um, from 204,000 to 204,000. If I want to still buy 100,000 or 50,000, I can't buy from this person. So make sure that you look at the limit before you click on the buy button. And if I scroll down here, you can go ahead and scroll down and see a trader that is um let's say we want to buy um a hundred thousand two hundred thousand just go ahead and scroll until you see the person that best meets your you know the um requirements of what you want and the rest you see here that this person is ready to sell from five thousand to ten thousand this person is from 134 to 134 this person is from 300k to 500k and so on so you can go ahead and search now on the p2p as i said earlier you search for the trader yourself why on the express binance search that automatically and matches you with person somebody to make payment to so you can go ahead and search for any trader you want to make payment uh, you want to purchase from go ahead and search whenever you see the trader that you want all you just need to do is to click on this buy button here and then you go ahead and put in once you buy the buy, buy but once you click on the buy button it brings you to this page here you have the option to buy with fiat which is your naira or your own local currency from whatever country you are seeing this video from and then the option to buy with crypto our focus is to convert our naira to crypto so we are going to be buying with fiat make sure that the fiat is the one that is selected so with that selected the next thing is to enter the amount and then after that we click on buy with zero fee so i'll go ahead and enter an amount here um this person's limit is 134 as you can see here is 134 to 134 meaning that anything less than this or above this it won't go so it must be that 134 that the person is selling so in this case i'll just click on all and it will be give me that limit so if i make a transaction or a transfer of 134,432 naira 76 kobo to this person i am going to get 200 
and 29 usdt 64 cent that is what i'll be getting so if you are okay with that just go ahead and click on this buy with zero fee and i'll just go ahead and click on that buy and it will take us to the next page where it will automatically generate you know we are buying from this trader so as we did the first time you can come in here to chat of the person so once you are on this chat um, column, you see that the person is saying I'm online already. Do not include. Make sure that when you click the chat, whatever um, conditions or rules that this trader is giving you, make sure you follow. Do not include crypto terms in your payment. Just use your name and send the payment, and the trader will know. You know there are a lot of rules that are put in the on the chat section. You make sure you read them carefully and abide by it. And another thing is that make sure you meet up with the time. If you don't pay before this. Uh, automatically the trade will be cancelled so that is how you go ahead after making payment um, the next thing you want to do is um, after making payment you come in here to transfer notify seller and then Binance will automatically notify the seller once the seller confirms the payment the person releases the crypto to you so that is how to use the P2P option once again on the P2P you search for the trader you want to buy from why on the express binance does that automatically for you so you using the express using the express binance automatically matches you with the next available trader with the best price in the market why using p2p is that you manually search for the trader you want until you get what you want then you go ahead and make purchase so that is basically the difference between this and now the last option here is the blog trade the last option is the block trade um, so block trade is majorly for those who want to carry out bulk payment you know you want to let's say you have a crypto worth um, 100 million 50 million uh, 500 million that you want to sell you don't really need to do that with either the express or the p2p for security reasons and uh, it is not everybody on the express or p2p um, page that can do that so binance has specifically verified and given approval to some specified traders that is why you see on the block trade there there are no many of them because it is only those that binance has vetted and verified as you can see here that can carry out blo um, block trades that can carry out block trades and here another thing you will notice is that the limit is from 5 million up to this is person is from 5 million to 463 um, million so if you have 400 million naira worth of crypto that you want to sell, you have a buyer on the Binance P2P page and you are buy selling this at no fee. So the person just wire the money into your account and you release the crypto to the person. This other person here is from 5 million to 508 million naira. So block trade or the block trade zone is majorly for those who want to carry out a huge transaction. So if you, are, if you want to buy crypto at a go at once from 5 million and above then the best thing to do is to use the block trade option so majorly as it stands right now you can buy usdt sell usdt as well buy and sell btc buy and sell busd bnb and ethereum so these are the cryptos you can trade on the block trading um, exchange so if i click on each of this one you see that here on the btc we only have one seller or one buyer here BUSD no buyer and um, then on the BNB we have one two of them and then on Ethereum we have one of them so majorly we don't have box sellers right now there are no uh, I don't see anybody showing ad for box selling you can actually apply to become a merchant right by now that you want to become a, a seller here and if you have um, that amount of money to be selling crypto and the rest you can come in here and start you know selling where people can come and buy from you but majorly the only available trades right now um, here in nigeria where i am the only available trades right now in naira is for those who are ready to buy so it means that if you have usdt worth 500 million naira somebody is ready to buy it from you if you have any coin worth millions of naira that you want to sell 20 million 100 million or there about there are available buyers that want to buy that from you so major basically that is just the difference between on the block trade you buy you for the major it is reserved for those who want to carry out block trade uh, you know you want to buy in huge amount 
why on the express you can buy any amount if i put one thousand binance automatically search for that person and then merge with that person to go make payment if i use the p2p i have to manually search you know for the person i want to buy for so these are the three basic ways you can buy crypto in nigeria in south africa in ghana in any other african country or any other country around the world with the binance p2p so you can use the p2p itself you can use express or if you want to carry out larger um, transaction then you use the block trade option so basically that is all i have for you in this video i hope after this video you start making use of the binance p2p another thing i need to say here is that p2p trading is uh, in most cases a full-time business for a lot of persons so if you want to be selling and buying crypto here and be making money from the p2p um here you don't need technical analysis you don't really need to give yourself a day. apply to become a merchant and once binance once you meet up with the requirement and binance verified you you can start you know um coming in you all you just need to do is to come in here and create your ad um so if i go to the p2p option for instance if i come in here to p2p um you can come in here where you see your profile here so down here you see where it says um, others you see uh, ads and then you see your profile so if i click on the ad if i click on ads here you can come in here and post your ad but make sure that you are posting an, uh, your ad as a verified measure i was supposed as a verified measure there is every tendency that everybody that wants to buy crypto here will buy from you i hope this video was helpful if you gain value from this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with others and um, if there are no questions of things i didn't address here if you are stuck with anything just use the comment section and i'll definitely attend to those and if you want to learn more about crypto you want to join our daily zoom meetings then link to join my telegram group will be in the video description where you get you know join the zoom and ask your questions and we'll go ahead and take care of that so that is all i have for you in this video if you don't have binance account once again sign up with the link in the video description and you can get started immediately and i'll see you guys in the next video